Miami Hurricanes fans, are you hyped? Are you ready for the Coop Plays edition of Miami versus Clemson? Coop versus Dabo. Who is the better coach? Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Is that who I think it is? Is that the Pigskin Pete, a.k.a. Clemson YouTuber? Oh, I need a different angle. Hold on. Guys, I think it's actually him. I do think it's him. We have a Clemson fan in the building yo listen i know we're, we're about to trash talk and spank the clemson tigers okay i get it but i do have to say pigskin pete guys if you want to go check out his channel that's not why he's popping in i know i know if y'all want to go check out his channel though because we're gonna want to trash talk him when the season kicks off you know what i'm saying like come on come on man hey Happy to see Pigskin Pete here in the building. Witnessing history tonight. Coop versus Dabo. Gonna see if we can take care of business, man. This I'm happy to say that the CPU Canes to to you. took down to Clemson helmet. last night. Love ya co-op, but this is easy, bro. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Y'all gonna let him talk to Coop like that? Pigskin Pete! We're going to let our play on the field do the talking tonight. Am I right, y'all? Listen, I was I was reviewing the game plan. You guys saw me in the intro uh, with the notepad. I was reviewing the game plan that Dawson and Gidry had come up with. You know, I gave it the green light right before the game. And uh, I'm pretty hyped. I'm pretty hyped, and, and we're excited, man. We're excited for tonight. Big Skin Pete, thank you for the $1.99, bro. I will sit you atop your throne. I appreciate the love, man. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. We'll put him up top. We'll put the Clemson fan on top of the board here. Pig skin Pete. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> no idea why I added that to it. Couldn't tell you. Pig skin Pete, thank you for the love, man. It's going to be a good time tonight. It's going to be a good time. Currently, Coach Coop is 4-2. and two. I lost to North Carolina last week, and I lost to Miami of Ohio week one in what is this considered is what one of the biggest fluke losses in you. college football history. Of your helmet. I'm just saying. Came by to tell everyone hello and thanks for all the support. Don't worry, I'm good. Just taking a sabbatical. Kane with a camera 2.0 will be back. Love you, co-op and the family. Go Canes. South Coast Kane. The people have been asking. They've literally been begging. My man, South Coast Kane, coming in and reclaiming the throne. Giving everybody an update. My man, South Coast Kane, a.k.a. Kane with the camera 2.0, a.k.a. Jordan Page. Maybe he only wants to be known by South Coast Kane. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, man, I appreciate the love. Thank you for popping in, saying what's up, keeping everybody up to date, man. I appreciate that very much. I let people know that I truly mean it. I really do. If, if, if some of you guys disappear for like a month, two months, however long it may be, if I know your social media handle or your phone number, 
there's a chance that I'm going to check in on you. Because again, a lot of us have never met in real life. It's just been virtually up to this point. Some of us have met in real life, but some of us haven't. And it's that thing where it's kind of scary because if if something were to happen to one of you guys, there's a chance I would I would never know. Like your significant other or family members, th- their first thought is probably not, let me go update Coach Coop and let him know that something happened to such and such. Like, y- you know what I'm saying? Like real talk. I'm being serious. So thank you, man. I appreciate you very much for the update. Thank you for the love for the $10 dono, man. Taking over the top spot over the Clemson Tigers fan. Trust me, man. All you got to do is look at the chat. All you got to do is look at the chat, man. And you'll see the love. We'll be here whenever you decide. Whenever you decide you're ready to go all in or you just do your thing. You do what's best for you, man. Appreciate the love. South Coast Kane. I actually even got confused there for a little bit earlier because there is South Carolina Kane in the building now as well, who I believe was formerly someone for, uh, that was someone else. I believe we'll, we'll get to it here in just a second. Let me check what South South Carolina Kane. You went by something else previously, right? And we're kicking off in, in T minus two minutes, guys. T minus two minutes, Coop versus Dabo. I'm pretty sure South Carolina Kane went by I'm something sorry, else no previously. I featured your trash can in my new YouTube studio. Much love, bro. <laughs> this is what it take. <laughs> Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, sorry, the no one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold up. I got invited Hold to up. the home run derby for the all-star game, but I had to work stupid work. No. No. No, 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 no. Hold, hold on. Let me catch up. Let me catch up. Hold on a second. I got to show y'all something and we're going to catch it. Hold on. I got you. No, Eric. Nope. Cancel work. Work is canceled, Eric. Home run derby, way more important. I think we know where home run derby versus work goes on the priority list. I wanted to show you guys real quick because I had a picture of the trash can that, that Pigskin Pete is referring to. If I can find it. I don't have the picture anymore, Pete. I don't have the picture, bro. I have the picture of us. That's Pigskin Pete right there, if you guys don't know. When we met in person, I gave him a Clemson garbage can. Because I told him I thought that was kind of a good fit for where their program would be last year. Uh, Obviously, joke's on me. But, uh, yeah, that's awesome. Hey, I'm happy to hear that you're still using it. Hopefully one day that will be an accurate representation take. of the Clemson Tigers football you? program. On the side of your we can hope and dream. Co-op, are you hyped that football season is almost here? Yuck, yuck. Me, I'm, I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped, man. Let me, let me, let me do some catching up here. Pigskin pig. Coming in hot with the 499. And you got to send me a pick. You got to send me a pick, man. Much love from Coop as well, Pete. Nothing but love from a Canes fan to Pete. Man, listen, you got to send me a pick. And uh, I got to see it. I got to see it, man. I just knew that was going to be the perfect fit for you, the perfect gift. Thank you for the love, Pete. Appreciate that. Let's also address this thing with Eric, guys. Kicking off in one minute. One minute. Eric! Taking over the top spot with the big old 20. Eric, my man, got invited to the home run derby, but has to work. Eric. Eric, you got to send me a a video clip. I need a clip of you hitting a a home run, bro. Like in game, maybe you make some kind of future home run derby or something. Like, does that real talk for a second, Eric? Thank you for the 20, bro. Are homers in these tournaments that you play in common? Like, is that like are people are people knocking them out of the park multiple times a game, or is that like super rare? I've never really been to any of these big softball tournaments and stuff like that, so I don't know if it's like for a home run. What? Like, I I don't know if that's common or not. Because in your pick, bro, you look jacked. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not trying to blow smoke up your booty and make you blush or anything, but you look jacked. So I feel like you could send it. 
That's the point I'm trying to make here. So I don't know. You let me know, man. Thank you for the love, bro. Thank you for the love. And Glenn Guetta coming in with the 999, kicking off in 30 seconds, guys. Starting this game off with the bang. Cooper, you hide the football season is almost here. We are seven weeks into the virtual season, Glenn, which means the real season is closer than ever, man. I talk about this. I preach about it week in and week out when I say that this is like a, I don't know, this makes time just moving fast forward. Before we know it, the virtual season's done and the real thing is here. It's absolutely insane. Okay, so I thank you for the 999, Glenn. I appreciate you very much. Shout out to everybody. Everybody who's here bright and early for the stream. All the love. We got Justin in the building. Justin, yo. Hey, it's good to see everybody here tonight. I'm going to give the shout outs as well to everybody who's here bright and early. And then finally, we're kicking this thing off. Hey, yo. What's up, bro? Randall Gant is here. Thomas Carter. Randy. South Carolina Kane. I'm still looking for what your old username was, bro. Kane's fan member. I appreciate that. We got Buddy in the building. Uh, Phil was here, I think, first. I think Phil was here super early, man. We got John O'Mara. Malik Beast. He says, I can't wait for FSU football. Okay, I'm good. That was a close one. Threw up in my mouth a little bit. We got IMAX in the building. We got Mama Coop. We're here, Mama Coop. Right on time, just like always. We got Crip in the building. Who else we got? We got Hoodie Girl. We got we got Glenn. I'm looking, I'm looking. We got Cuban Kane. You like the fit? This is the coaching fit, Cuban Kane. This is when we're locked in and we're serious. We got Dennis in the building. Mr. Prime. Let's go. Palm Beach Kane got us up on the big screen again tonight. We can't let him down. Not on the big screen, guys. We got VD3. We got Tattoo Terry. Were you hanging out in Chalupa's stream on Twitch? Chalupa's a, Ch Chalupa's a good dude, Terry. Really, really good guy. We got Forza in the building. Nick. What's up, man? Justin Whitworth, the whole house is dancing with the intro. It is catchy, man. I, I've never really changed the intro much because it's just too good. I, I personally love it. Freaking love it. We got King David 689 Workforce Freebie. What's up, Johnny? All things considered, I'm doing good, man. It is, it sounds like a torrential downpour outside right now, but hopefully the power holds on for us and we don't have any issues. T Davis. This is going to be light work. You're right for me, bro. <laughs> for me, you're right. That statement is correct. Yep. We got Matthew Welch in the building. Jason Fanning. Drosky. Ralph. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We, I think it's about time to kick this thing off, guys. <laughs> I'm psyching myself up. Corey Gray. Kane's Hunter. I appreciate you guys. They can be. Okay, so it can be rare to hit a homer. How many homers do you have? I bet you've lost track. Are there any injuries in this game? Yes. So the injuries carry over. You go and get the controller in hand. The injuries carry over, so Parrish is out tonight. So Don Cheney Jr. is the starting running back, and Mark Fletcher is RB number two. Now, I do want to add one thing. No, Jacuzzi is not starting tonight. No, he is not. I do want to add one thing. I had an epiphany the other night. Let me go ahead and bring up the game so that way people know that we're, we're literally about to kick it off. I had a, a little epiphany the other night. Now, most of you aren't going to care about this, and that's okay. And I am not making any excuses for my play. I'm not. I'm not making any excuses. But I do need to add that after the stream, I want to show you guys something. Because I was very confused. People were sending me screenshots on Twitter. And they are playing along with me. So each week, they're playing to see what score they get. 
And they're DMing me picks of them putting up 120 plus points against Clemson. And I'm sitting here thinking, okay, bro, what difficulty do you have the game on? They said, oh, Heisman, same as you. And I'm like, okay, Heisman is as high as you can put it. And I said, what are your sliders set at? And they said, Coop, what do you mean? I said, what are, what are the sliders on? They said, I've got it on Heisman. It's as tough as it gets. What are you talking about? And it hit me. I am using the J-Kit sliders. I don't know if you guys know what the J-Kit sliders are, but it makes the game much more difficult. Now, some of you might still be good enough that you're putting up 100 plus points on people with it on Heisman difficulty plus the J-Kit sliders. Maybe you are in shout out to you. So much respect. Apparently, I'm, I'm actually just not very good at the game. I'm not. I'm not. Let's be real. But I don't think with Heisman difficulty plus the J-Kit sliders, you're going to put up 120 plus points on, on, on another Power 5 team. I just don't think that that's possible. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Remind me after the stream, and I'll show you guys what I'm referring to. It makes everything harder. Accuracy from the quarterback. Uh, wide receivers catching balls. It's why you see a lot of batted balls instead of interceptions because it makes that so much harder. And see, I don't know. Like I said, I think a lot of people don't adjust to sliders. They're just playing on Heisman and, and that's it. So I'm making it even a little tougher on myself, but no excuses tonight. Let's jump into this thing. Let's get it. Let me see some final predictions. We lost last week. 30 to 24 to the North Carolina Tar Heels. I jumped out to a 14 to nothing lead and then everything just fizzled out after that. So let me see some final predictions in the chat for tonight. You can see the numbers here, the team ratings. Clemson is ranked higher in, in pretty much every category. They're bigger, faster, stronger. We got to see if we can take care of business. Let me see the predictions. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Plug them in. Plug them in. Don't play. Yo. Put them down there. Twenty-four to seventeen. Coop wins. Okay. Riley says 38-28 Clemson. Okay. Melissa believes 31 to 27. Coop. Okay, we like it. Cardiac canes. I'll take it if we get the dub. I don't care if we beat Clemson by just one. I'm keeping it real. I just want a dub, man. Bouncing back after last week. 28 to 21, Coop, dramatic comeback. John says 32, 24, Miami. Javier says his money's on Clemson. Okay. Okay. 27, 24, Miami. 41, 38, Coop, last second field goal. Okay. Okay. Here we go, y'all. Here we go. It's time. Don't forget that the post-game press conference will happen immediately after this game. The Kickers got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. It's time to get it. And here we he really go. Got a hold of that kick. Miami Knights, 8 p.m. kickoff. And it goes into the end zone. Here we go for a touchback. The Tigers' offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. Did Take you guys a, hear that thunder? This guy, Brad, is is just the intangible wow. that he brings to the um, table. We've been seeing this guy make plays okay. for over the weeks, but the okay. thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, hey, I got you. I got you, South Coast Kane. Don't well, you worry about a thing, bro. Getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. Don't you worry, bro. Game. A nice seven-yard gain on the option. Now, it is going to take me a second to get takes. settled in. We're going with a slightly different you? game plan than I'm normal. Your helmet. So. Coop, show no mercy. Remember the 58-0 to zero beat down. You right. You right, Kane Tunner 69. You right, bro. No mercy. Screen, screen. Nobody there. Nobody there, bro. Are you freaking kidding me? Inside the 30 to the 20. 
And he's finally knocked out okay. of bounds okay. at the 14. Boy, this is a huge that, that play That honestly the was the perfect play call. The defense dialed up. You know, they brought pressure, it really was. We brought some pressure. They decided to, to, to throw a little screen pass, and they picked up big yardage. Throw. It's okay. I'm going to keep bringing that. pressure on Klubnik tonight. Gave him the time that he yo, yo, yo. Yo, <laughs> yo, we're fine. Yo, yo, we're fine, bro. It's first down. Throws it away. Yeah, all right, baby. <laughs> we all good. Coach Coop is not stressed. I'm not. Man left, man left. You know, this is where we play our best defense. Most of the time. Goes quickly into the end zone, caught for the touchdown. Most of the time. You know, it thundered here, and it kind of scared me, and it, it it threw my game off a little bit. A tight end scored that time. Okay. And with authority. We just have to answer. Player, but he's also got the finesse to make a big impact in the Yeah, the D, game. man, I got to get with. I had a lot of talks he's with Gidry. The uprights with the extra point. Four play, Defense drive. has been, you know, points. a weak point you know, of this team all season. These guys it really has. After after it's it's, it's been pretty I, rough, guys. I didn't expect it to be this easy. He's to the 20. Taken down by the kicker. All right, let's go. Let's go. Yo, we're bringing it, T. Davis. We're bringing it, okay? We'll fill it out a little bit. The quarterback brings his troops out, out of the field for the first time. No, the no, game. it's not. No, it's not going to happen all night. Just let me work. Let me work, bro. It's early. To the right and tackle immediately. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. The sophomore just stuck it to the ball carrier right there. That's a very good tackle. I'm gonna focus. I'm gonna focus. It's second down. He's pushed okay, we out take those. The yes. So, oh, David, what's up? He comes in and says, "Cool." What's up, man? Third down so, short. yeah, Chaney is the starting back line. tonight. Parrish is out. Parrish is out for this one. Where's my quarterback? It's on the ground. Uh, guys. Uh, guys. I legit think we have to start over. That's never happened. In four years of doing this, that has never happened. I hate to break the immersion, but that was not fair. That was the most insane glitch I have ever seen. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Woo! Touchdown, Miami! No, no, okay. So let's talk about this. Don't use up. No, no, no. Let's talk about this. What do you guys want to do? Because I will never hear the end of it if I run it here. Because technically, this just makes it zero to zero with two minutes shaved off of the clock. However, like, what do do we reset? What do we do? Honest, to, I want y'all to be real with me. Real talk. Like, I know it's just a video game at the end of the day. But it's never bugged out that bad. So, something something wonky happened there. Do you guys want to reset? What happened though? I don't even know. Let me see what it does if I tell it to continue. I'm not going to kick the PAT, but let me just see. Here so, comes. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Can you kick it and let them score? The ball popped out a touchdown. I don't... TVD was invisible. TVD was invisible, so... 
check this out. Here's what happened. We won't t we won't focus too much on this. Um, Lee snapped it forward. <laughs> okay, look. I know we're trying to keep it real and have fun, but you have to admit this is pretty humorous. Lee snaps it forward 45 yards into the end zone. It goes all the way back to the other end zone and was somehow called a touchdown. Honestly, the biggest trick play in college football history. Never seen anything like it before. Yeah, I think we reset, y'all. Listen, I think we reset. <laughs> Yo, let's... Uh, here. Let me just reset the whole thing. I'm going to reset all of it. I'm so sorry, guys. I have never... That one is cursed. See, I told you. I'm not keeping it. Listen, Coach Coop is fair and is real. If any, I'm, We're throwing a challenge flag on the play. All right. Challenge flag on the play. I don't even know. This is what it take. Bro, I don't even know. To where to you on the side of your helmet. Co-op best play ever, bro. Congrats. This is what it take. One of the greatest plays in college you, football history. On the side of your helmet. Co-op for the love of God sling it all night against Clemson. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Is that reverse psychology, Javier? Because you, you said you got money on Clemson. So, are you... Should I not do the Miami Knights? Is it bugging it? Surely that's not the problem. Maybe that was just a one-off. I we've never had that happen in four years of doing this, guys. We've we've never had that happen. So we'll keep it. We'll keep it, man. I don't know what the heck was going on. Hey, Burgos and Javier. Thank you for the congrats on the the touchdown, man. As I said, that's it's gonna go down in history. Hey, Burgos. It's going to go down in history, man. I'm so sorry, guys, to have to start over. That was not in the the playbook. I, uh, wow. Wow, right? Hey, Burgos, thank you for the love. Javier, thank you for the love, man. I feel like this one's a trick. I feel like that one's a trick, bro, but I don't know. You let me know, Javier. I appreciate y'all. Never have I ever seen that happen. Not one time. Not the first time we've hit the reset. You're right. We did have to hit reset a, one or two times last year. But I have never, I have never seen that. And I hate it because here come, here come the people. If, if, if Coop finds a way to win tonight, the number one thing is going to be, well, Coop wouldn't have won. Coop would not have won that first game. I can I'm I, I can literally already we'll see, see it. I'm visualizing it right now as we speak. The opening kickoff. He sends this one deep. The Florida Gators did it, then I need to see a replay. This one's gonna be down in the end zone for a touchback. True, somebody needs to clip that. Clemson's offense really somebody needs to clip that play and tag Matt Lee on Twitter. Right over the and tell him that we need to see that. And one thing I've seen we need to see that play this season. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback, I want to see that happen. Offense, so we'll just say fresh start. Is that fair? Or do you guys want me to let them score? Real talk. Makes the grab past the marker. And he's tackled around the 45-yard line. Any Diablo? Yeah, impressive. I played Diablo some. Is important, but just as important yeah, I played Diablo some. That can make plays. It's good, man. It's good. Okay, for real, though, what do you guys want? Do you want a, a fresh start? Last game was too crazy, even though... Okay. I think fresh start is fair. I'm not saying this because I was down 7 to nothing. I think fresh start is fair because that one was bugged from the jump. Ah, uh, we have someone to blame, guys. We have someone to blame. True, the game learns, so you're right. We gotta... You're right. We'll just play it, y'all. We'll just play it. Hey, 
from their own 45 What's up, Edward? Line. First down. I'm going to play a little safety and linebacker tonight. He's got it with room to run. He's taken I'm going to do it. That's great execution. Quarterback made a nice You lose, you give away a Pokemon card. Bro, I learned my lesson with that. I learned my lesson with that one, man. I've already had to do that. I had to give away a Zard. Heck no. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's tackled. You're right. They might score uh, anyways. That play could have gone for six. Oh, boy. You're right. And all week long, okay. this second year okay. did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Okay. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. Mike, Mike, From the 19 yard line. First down. Let's go. And they bring him down. Let's go. Oh, What's up, L. Anderson? That's one of those as an What's good, line. man? When the film study starts to come around, hey, what's going on, Greg? Everybody's like jumping there. in. Cajun Kane. You're gonna get what difficulty is this on? David, this is on Heisman with the J-Kit sliders. I'm going to start adding that in from now, in, from now on, guys. It is Heisman with the J Kit sliders. They find themselves in a I feel like that's that important. Sack. People it's need to know long. that detail. In the shotgun and five wide outs. He launches one for the end zone. We got to pick those. If I'm the quarterback, I'm not we so have sure to I pick have that. To Bro. He'll make the same play. <sighs> Third down and what they didn't want to get in. Ball on the 25 yard line. Fires complete over the middle. Wrong defense. At the one yard line. I shouldn't have went. I. That's my bad. That's my bad on that one. I take full responsibility for that play right there. Stuff from right here. They're gonna run it up the gut. Oh, yep, they did with clubbing it. Okay. Tigers. Okay. All right. Oh, T. Davis. Are oh, you gonna make me throw up, bro? All right. All right. A seven play, 75 Who still believes? And a touchdown to result. Brett, Who still the believes? Drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. So I'm bringing it out. Seven nothing. Go big or go ten. home tonight. Brought down at the 18. All right, little different approach. The offense gets ready to take their first. Greg game. believes. Kane's enthusiast believes. I don't know what kind of hands Chaney has. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. Was I still backpedaling? Was I still going backwards with TVD? Is that why he threw it so bad? Second and ten. Ball on Hello? The Arroyo was open. Let's go. Flag at the eight. Flag at the eight. Easy, easy, easy. Easy, easy. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, boy, guys. Tonight's getting hairy. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's also not what I meant to do. Oh, no. It's fine. It out to about the 39. We're going to, we're doing it a little different tonight, y'all. We're changing the plays. You know, we've learned from our mistakes in the past. 
from their own 39 you know, line. We might have lost an, AC, uh, an ACC game last week, but we're winning this one. Nice we're winning there. this they one, bro. Outside. That's a game of four on one day. That'll, That'll make, make it second, second and seven. seven. Let's see, I know what I'm looking for. I know what I'm looking for here. Where is it? Yo, where is it? There it is. There it is. From their own exactly. Yard line. Exactly, Cajun down. Kane. Quick throw. Almost intercepted. Come on, TVD. Come on, TVD. That makes it third and seven. I had tunnel vision on that one pretty bad. Run the slant. Everybody wants the slant, huh? Ball on the 43. Everybody's looking for the slant. That's our secret weapon. No, no, bro. What is Tyler Van Dyke doing, actually? What is... Is it bugged? Look, I'm not backpedaling. I'm hitting a rodeo right there. Look. Bro, there ain't no way. Bro, there ain't no way. Look, look, I might have missed somebody open, right? Like, Cheney broke open. I get it. But you're telling me that I'm throwing right here to Arroyo, and TVD still in the ball right there. That man is in a white jersey. Look, look, look. Y'all are, fo are focusing on the wrong thing. I know he's open. Bro, I missed it. I, I know. But why? It, you know what? It don't even matter. You know what? It don't even matter. We're going to come out. We're going to punt. The defense is going to get. All right. We're fine. We're fine. He was open. He was open. You're right. He 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 was open for sure. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. Terrible punt. Someone's hacked the PlayStation. I'm convinced. Somebody done went and hacked it, bro. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do. Nah, no excuses. The last time this offense was out on the field. No excuses. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. I think it really started to affect not only just I read the, that the all the way. The defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. Chipley so. picks him up around seven <sighs> yards with that catch. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Clemson is up a score. Boy, that hole. All right. Should have been a pick. I agree. It's, it's, I do feel like it's being wonky. Like, it, there's still zero excuses, bro. Like, I'm not kidding. Zero excuses, but it is being a little weird. It's super frustrating right now. Gets rid of it. They're going to be forced to put it away here. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good. That's a fair the trade. Defense. The sliders. These are the same sliders we've played with since last year. Swanson to punt. So the sliders haven't changed. When I'm mentioning that I'm playing with the J Kit sliders, Move we always kick. have been. Like they do they make it tough. They, they the definitely do. Way. But like we've always played with those. Now, now, you know what? You know what? I'm going to dial up a little halfback screen. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game. Sliders are making you hungry. I feel you. I feel you. It's there. It's there. Fires it up. Down. All that for one yard. All that for one yard, bro. 
It's making me sick. From their own 26 yard line, second down. Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you too, exciting. I just thought you meant that you thought that like I had just enabled them or something. And he's tackled after positive. I feel you. You know what? You guys want to see how confident I am in the run game? No, I ain't doing it. No, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I changed my mind. Nope. Just kidding. From their own I don't want to be too conservative, but I have to be smart, too. Bro, this game is bugging. Quickly, it's almost intercepted, and that'll bring up a punting situation. Great hold by the defense. Y'all ain't gonna believe me, and I'm not gonna sit here and make excuses. I'm not even gonna say what just happened. I'm not even gonna say it. I ain't gonna say it. I just had to play through it. Is the punter? Play through the pain. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Williams. Okay. Okay. Curtis just. Falls over? Um, huh? Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Clemson up seven points. Here we go. Oh, we can't tackle. If you can consistently run we, effectively, we can't like this, tackle, bro. No, see, I didn't want to say it, Sigmund. I didn't want to say it. Get after clue asterisk gick. You know what? I'll say it. That's not the button I pressed. That is literally not the button I pressed. I no excuses. None. Zero. Zilch. Nada. None. That's not the button I pressed, though. I'm telling you. And he can't get away from the pressure. Robert! Well timed. Thank you for the dollar ninety nine, Robert. Wish, and you shall receive. Wish granted. Defense. Exactly, Melissa. Suck it up. That's what my mom would tell me. My mom would say, "Coop, suck it up." Find a way to. He's gonna try and scramble. Find a way to play through it. Only <laughs> Club McNaught got his head taken off. He's lucky. Whoo! Third down now, and they need to get. Here we go. Here we go. And that was such a good job of reading the coverage and knowing where his receivers were. Any coach in the country would be thrilled to see that kind of composure, especially on third down. I got him right here. We got him right here, bro. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Got it to his man on the screen. Good play, good play. I mean, some of those are going to be, you just can't stop them. Right, Terry? Some of them, it's it's one of those situations where it's like, what what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You know. From the 48 yard line. Seven yard loss. We down. take those. Clemson is up by a touchdown. Throws and it's incomplete. Okay. Huge third down here, guys. This is big. This this right here is is big, bro. This is the eighth. Let's go! At the 
Oh! Great call on defense to mix things up. Yeah, the corner blitz really caught him off guard that time. Ooh, I'm lightheaded after that one. What's Shipley doing? Shipley trying to give Klubnik a hug? Or what? Save that for the locker room post game, man. When you guys, when you're trying to console your quarterback, Joseph is the deep man awaiting the return. Hey, bro, the game ain't over yet. You know. He fields the punt at the 13. Joseph All right, we, we the Dawson, bro. Line. Listen. The Tigers have Dawson, bro. Shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early. We need football. something. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way we need something here. Point, just based on watching these teams and I need I game, need some momentum. To see this we got to get this thing rolling. Find itself and start to execute much better. Right. First goal like is get the midfield. Mind, I like that. A deficit this manageable. I like that, man. In the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. I'm I'm literally pressing the button. And the offense is looking to go with I'm literally press I don't want to hurry up. I'm literally pressing the button, y'all. I swear something is off. I'm not The Hurricanes will use their first time out of the half. I ain't even worried about it. I, I ain't even worried about it. Tries to thread the needle. It's picked off. And he's taken down at the 26-yard line. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. Yeah, I was dropping frames for a second, guys, because it's storming really bad. Hold on, let me pause for a second. Real talk, let me pause for a second. It's storming really bad here at my house. I'm going to pause it. Hands off the controller. Hands off the controller. It's storming super bad here. We'll see if the internet connection can level out. Hold for just a moment. It's storming super bad. As I said, I, that's why I wanted to let you guys know it is it, the internet's being real bad. No, you guys are good. You guys are good. I don't know if you can even hear me. You guys are good. My internet is up and down because it's storming super bad. It's a freaking monsoon outside. Let's give it just a second. Let's give it a second and see if it can level out here because I can see the up and down on my end. Tonight's just been weird. Like, the game was glitchy from the jump. It started storming as soon as I went live, so now my internet connection is up and down. Come on, bro. We'll just chill for a minute, guys. Game is paused. Game is paused. It's it's the internet connection here. Broke the game, Bill. Uh, it's not you guys. It's not you guys. Yo, listen, I will sit here all night.
Okay, we're chilling, we're chilling. Chilling? No, it's still bad, it's still bad. Come on, work with me, bro. Come on. It's storming bad, y'all. I know my connection's up and down, so you probably can't hear me. It's storming bad, bad. We'll just wait. I'm going to have to wait for it to, to chill out. <sighs> now, thankfully, this hasn't happened to me often in my streaming career. You're hearing pieces? Yeah, okay. Let me check the radar. Let me check the radar. Let me see if it's showing that this storm is going to move out of here. I know y'all can't see what I'm seeing, but I'm just checking to see if, if the storm is passing through or if it's going to stick around for a while. I've not had my internet connection go out due to a storm in a couple of years. It's storming really bad. I'm lagging your internet. <laughs> How does that work? How am I lagging your internet? That don't make sense. Okay, so it's showing. It should be. Okay, it's not looking good, but we'll see. Dang, it's showing it might be storming. Let me see here. I know you guys are only getting bits and pieces. It's showing severe storms until 2 a.m. Are you kidding me? Are you serious right now? It'll sh the, the thing is, guys, it'll show on my end when the connection levels out. So I, I get a visual, basically a graph that I can look at that shows. So I can see my bit rate fluctuating due to the unstable connection chill out let's give it a second it's it right now it's showing okay yeah right now it's showing that it's okay but let's give it a second that storm was rough for a minute man i could feel it shaking the house no joke i sound good right now let's give it a second though i appreciate your guys patience it's just going to be one of those nights it's going to be one of those weird nights We'll push through it as long as the, the power doesn't go out. Right? Chill out, Mother Nature. We got a game to play, bro. Yo! Did Mother Nature not, not get the memo, Adam? Or what? Let's take the camera outside and watch the lightning. True. I do have that IRL set up now, Cypher. We could do that. Right now, I'm showing stable. Can you guys hear me? So many people are probably already gone because they said, screw this. I'm not sticking around for this nonsense. I don't blame you. Can you guys hear me? Yes or no? It shows that everything should be fine. Can you guys hear me? Everything looks clear on my end. True, man. Mother Nature doesn't answer to anybody, Nick. If, if it's going to storm, it's going to storm. And there's unfortunately just nothing we can do. But now I'm getting no response from the chat. So that's either on my end or you guys can't hear me. Hello? Okay, it's smooth, it's smooth. It's, it's delayed on my end, that's what's happening. Can you pull up the, the weather radar map for us? Well, here's the deal. I trust you guys. You guys are my friends, you're my family. But if I pull up the weather radar, 
then it's going to show where exactly where I live when we're looking at it to see the storms, if you see what I'm saying. Let me look out the window. Let me look out the window. Hold on. Never mind. I'm an idiot. It's completely dark outside, so I can't see it. I still hear the thunder. Yeah, it's on my end, guys. It's on my end. It's not you. You can hear me? You know my address. Did you hack me? Yeah, you guys can see on my you see where my PO box is. The bit it shows stable for me. Every it's green lights all around. If it's fine, we're going to run it. It won't affect the game. Like the my internet connection is not going to affect the game. It's just going to affect what you guys see. Yeah, bro. What hunker down because it's a it's a freaking monsoon headed your way, Danny. True, and that's the thing, Nick. Like I, like I said, I trust you guys, but anyone could stumble upon the video and be like, "Oh, so Coop lives in this little circle right here." Like you never know, you never know. Okay, I think we're gonna we're gonna try to run it. Obviously, we lost three fourths of our viewers because of the wonky connection, and I don't blame people again because it wasn't looking good there for a minute. We'll try to run it. It just dropped again. Are you serious? Are you freaking kidding me? Should you be chill? You're in Spartanburg. Is that east or west of East Tennessee? I think that I think you're west of me, so you should be fine. This is moving, this storm is moving east. Northeast. It's moving over and up. You're in Florida, so yeah, completely different uh different part of the country. Right? I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I know I see a lot of people had to had to dip and refresh and reload. Man, it's so frustrating because it's been so long since this has happened to me. I forget the frustration of being a streamer and having to deal with power outages, internet outages. You know, sometimes you're at the mercy of the weather. It's kind of like when you work in, some of you guys work in like construction, landscaping, all that stuff. If it rains for a week straight, you ain't working for a week straight. It's It just is what it is. You got you to gotta just roll with it sometimes. I'm showing consistent again. We'll give it a second. I don't blame you guys if you want to head out. But we'll give it a minute. If it If it, if it clears up, then we'll run it. Yeah, man. I mean, I got this is what I'm here to do tonight. So I, I don't care to just like sit back and just wait and see if it clears up. But I won't I won't sit here and hold you guys hostage for the next four hours. Nothing crazy like that. True. Electricians always have work to you. Right. <laughs> Once I get that roof on, David, you're fine. Like you, you can't be like, yo, but it's been raining for a week, you know, and they're like, you can run that. You can run those lines. Oh, yeah, I appreciate you, Greg. I just I don't blame people, man. Are are we? I think right now it's showing clear again. So it's not no matter what, guys. Like I appreciate people trying to help me troubleshoot stuff. It's just because it's storming. It's it's not like some kind of specific internet outage in my area. It's not a technical problem. It's literally just a freaking monsoon outside. I can still hear it. If it holds steady for, I just don't want you guys to miss anything and try to say I cheated. You know what I'm saying? That's what we don't want. Chris! Chris, you have missed the wildest. I I don't even know how to describe the screen tonight, Chris. Right now, we have a very inconsistent connection because it's storming really bad and we're waiting for it to pass. And also, we had to reset the game two minutes into it because Miami center Matt Lee snapped the ball forward 50 yards. And we scored a touchdown. You know, and everybody in the stream, Chris, was like, Coop, run it. 
You can leave it. It's fine. And I was like, you know what? I can't cheat. I, I My conscience, you know, I, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night, Chris. So I was like, you know what? No, we're resetting. And everybody in the chat was like, nah, Coop, it's fine. And I was like, you know, we're resetting. We're resetting. So it, it's not the game or anything, guys. I'm, I'm just waiting for my internet connection to stabilize. Which right now it's showing it's fine. We're going to run it for a minute. Let's run it for a minute and see what happens. And let me know if the connection drops. I think we're fine right now. I don't even remember what was happening at this point. Do I have the ball? No, I don't. Okay, they're at the 26-yard line. Okay. Whoo! Uh, why aren't you using the ESPN scoreboard? Good question. The most recent update, once it updates the visuals to the ESPN scoreboard, when I try to run it through my splitter to decode the PS3 connection plus go through the Elgato capture card, for some reason when I do the updated scoreboard, it bugs the game. And as you can see... <laughs> The game is already is pretty buggy at times, right? So Toward we go you. for stability over helping. new stuff. I am 100 scotches in. WTF is going on? Run the ball more. Fly the planes. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Fire the OC. Weather delay. What Before y'all start contributing to the Fly the Banner Fund, weather delay. Thank you for the 499, Chris. A hundred scotch is in, huh? I think we're good, guys. He's sw literally sweating scotch. All right, we're good, guys. We're good. Now we got it. It's like a real weather delay, y'all. Think about this. No, really, really, really think about this for a second. It's like an actual weather delay. Now we're like, oh boy, what's the team going to look like when they come back out? Are they going to be, you know, are they out of it? The Can they lock line. in? First down. Think about it. Clemson. Think about Up it, y'all. You got to play it. Around the 23-yard line. It could be that the offensive coordinator is trying to lure the Just let me know. To play more press Please. coverage. And then they'll try to take advantage by going deep. Let me Those know if the stream lags. If it lags, it is not you, it's me. Now you got to go back to your wet seats exactly. It's been real buggy for some reason tonight. Like, they'll throw the ball away sometimes. Like, that that's normal and fine. But I don't know. It's just, it's, everything feels off tonight. I don't understand why. From the 23 it's, there you go, Randy. Third down. No, we ain't flying the planes, bro. Good day, good day right there from Jack. The good day to wrap up that first quarter. Let's go. Let's go. Chris, I swear you are not going to believe the glitch that happened earlier. Like, you're going to have to rewind and check it out. It's that good. And by good, I mean bad. Clemson is hoping to make this a two score game. It's so, it, it was funny. Kicks away. And he nails the long field goal. We ain't blaming that nothing. Like no excuses. Now the field the is wet. The Clemson. field is drenched, and it bro. Like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. But just refresh if y'all are still having problems. Refresh the screen. That was bad. At the 16. Fred, everywhere yeah, refresh the stream and you, you should be good. Oh, the should. Or the pistol and hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams real that weather delay. Get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason. Real weather delay. You know? Wild stuff. He fights forward to about the 19. I'm almost scared to do play action, man. <laughs> like, actually. From their own 19 run the slant. It's second down. Uh, okay. If we don't convert here, we'll run the slant, Melissa. Uh, 
Once and all, going deep. No, incomplete. Intended that time for the wide receiver. Sometimes the ball just kind of sails on you. I'm sure he wouldn't mind having that one back. Is this a joke? This feels like the real life hurricanes. I'm not even kidding. If that if that's not as real as it gets, then I don't even know what to say. Third down and seven. Ball I'm freaking 19. serious. I'm saying it. If that ain't realistic. If that ain't realistic enough for you, then I don't know what else to say. That brings us fourth and seven. Like, what do you want? What do people want me to do? Look what I'm working with. What is Coach Coop supposed to do? Tyler Van Dyke, too much under it, misses a wide open Harrell Williams for a touchdown. Okay, man. no biggie. We'll pull out the top secret play that works nine times out of he ten. We'll run this the slants. Really nice we'll get it to Harrell and let him make a play. He drops it. Hits him in the chest, in the hands. Something ain't right. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Got a man. Watch out here. He's taken down right around midfield. Harold making you look bad. He was open. He was open. Like, and how does, T how does TVD overthrow him that bad? How does he put that much juice on it? It's been underthrown balls a lot this season. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Whiff, completely whiff by me. User control, completely whiff with Malgoa. My responsibility is Shipley there. It's, it, the wheels are falling off. This weather delay, man. You got to put Jakari in. Bro, I'm about sick and tired of this from, from TVD, bro. I'm not even playing. He makes it to the 35-yard line. At the very least, we got to hold him to a field goal right here, y'all. From the 35-yard line. Do you need some Gatorade, bro? Oh, boy. Green. Flips it middle to the running back. Tackle at the 32. Hey, you know I love the trolling T Davis. Please keep it coming though, like real talk. You know I love it, man. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 25. So he, so Klubnik can make that throw. It's no problem for him to hit wide open guys. Like, it. And he tacks on the extra point. I swear, I'm actually. Look, y'all. I'm about to bench Tyler Van Dyke if he plays poorly right here. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Just down it, down it, bro. I'm not even bringing it out. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. What's going on, Reggie? Get a little counteraction going. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand. I agree, Terry. You you hat. make that throw. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. They'll bring him down at about the 25-yard line. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. The game really isn't, isn't doing us any favors. 
It's really not, but you know what? It's it's okay. It's okay. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Then I'm telling you, though, man, again, there are people that are good enough. They can play well even with the sliders. I just, I do think it's funny. Caught with room to work. Because He's to the 40. so He's many the people field. are hitting me. At the 30, there we go. The 20. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. Touchdown, Miami! We needed that. TBD needed that, bro. Hey, look, it's Harold. That's how we. That's how we drew it up, Edward. We drew it up so that the the Clemson players would run into each other, and that's the way that Dawson designed that play. Just as a heads up, just like they ran it in practice all week. And he adds the extra point. Harold is that guy. We needed that touchdown bad. Seventy-five yard. We did. And a touchdown. The offense has some life. This offense is looking more and more explosive. The score now, 17-7, Miami. We're not out of this. Y'all take a chill pill. We ain't out of this. He sends this one deep. Where are the non-believers at? Into the end zone. No, Down we got a lot of work to do, man. Clemson's the defense. Is just clicking on all Woo. cylinders for me right now. It's everything they plan for, and it's all working. Okay. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. We do need some turnovers. And, you know, some turnovers started, would be big time, was, man. You know, it it they wondered really would. If they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense, and I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. How? Grabs Literally, pitch. how? Gains his way to the 36 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Okay, okay. It's first and 10. Nothing's going to go our way. That's fine. That's fine. Finally a drop. Finally. But yeah, anyways, I was talking earlier. I kept forgetting to tell people that we are playing with the J Kit sliders. And I know so many people are gonna be like, Coop, we don't care. And that's fine. That's fine. So it's second and two. But I'm not the best at this game. Obviously. And that really ups the difficulty for me, bro. I just they make the stop at about the 47 yard line obviously we're gonna have to um we're gonna have to uh coop we don't care i know i know what are the j kit sliders so it makes it more difficult for for you to even do regular things in the, the game. So it makes, this is the kind of you notice how you see a lot of when things that look see. like they would right be a pick, but the corner or safety cylinders. drops it. It makes it a lot harder for interceptions to happen. It makes it tougher for the quarterback to complete passes. The idea is that it makes the game a little more realistic. And it does because otherwise people are scoring 100 plus points in this thing, even on Heisman. And that's just not even close to real, you know? Yeah, but there are plenty of people that play it with that. Not J Kiss. Yeah. <laughs> J Kit. J Kit. Not Kiss. <laughs> I tackled right before he lateraled. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Like, see, that should be a pick. That should be a pick. That's a pick six, literally. That's literally a pick six, but it's so hard to get interceptions. Look at this. Reads this all the way, bro. Cam comes in. Nothing but green grass in front of him. Those offensive linemen aren't catching Cam Kitchens right there. Pick. But it's so tough to get interceptions. 
And at the end of the day, that is more realistic. Like it is. And these sliders are applied when I play and CPU versus CPU. And we've always done it. We've literally always done it. From the Going back to three, four years ago, down. even when we started this thing. Let's go. The pressure works. Okay. But it's no excuse. Listen, though. It's, it's no excuse. Make it less realistic. I want to win. <laughs> okay. Big sack from James Williams. Maybe he misses. They're, they're punting? Okay. Swanson is waiting for the snap. Let it go. Let it go. He was able to deaden that kick perfectly. They don't trust their kicker, y'all. Okay. Now, we're not going to give up on the run game, though. We're still going to try, man. We've not been running well, but... This I don't want to give up on it. The defense through the air Should not have ran to the left side of the field, though. They got two drive. impact players on that thing left to side. Have speed. Oof. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the money. We know what we need to do. From their own eight-yard line. It's second down. Yeah, I deserved that one, T. Davis. They read that all the way. Okay, very manageable third down here. I don't want to be conservative. I don't, but I think we got to make sure we pick this up right here. Let's go to the money maker. Let's go inside zone. Let's get a fresh set of downs. We need to make this 14-17. Good push by the O-line right there. And down he goes. Good Stay job, good job. Yard line. Yo, let go. Where's the flag at? Sheesh, man. First down, 10 yards. True, he's making some better throws. You're right. You're right. Okay. Plenty of time. We got three timeouts in our back pocket. I know y'all aren't going to like this. From their own 36 yard line. First down. We'll take those. We are starting to get a little short on time, though. We are going to have to speed it up a bit. That clock's ticking. Come on, Coop. Come on, Coop. We got Fletcher in. Bad throw, man. Bad, Most bad throw. It's almost intercepted. Run that pick play, yeah. Yeah, run that pick play. That's a bad throw. Let's see. What are we doing on third and five here, man? We got three timeouts, so we're not super worried about getting out of bounds. I know what Melissa wants. I know what Melissa's looking for. I'm going to give it to her. So we're looking at another third down here. Oh, you're right. I have two timeouts. You're right. We had to burn one. This is Harold going out, though. Ooh, uh-oh. Okay, let's see what happens. No. Bro, why did he throw? Why did he put so much air under it? I'm not tapping it. I'm not tapping. Uh...
We're at the one minute mark. First Was Harold open? The big oh, fellas up front. Boy. This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. <laughs> hey, I never claimed to be good. It is true. They come out in a five wide set. Coop did never claim to be good. I just said I'd run it. Yeah, and I will. He's looking for more. He's taken down at the 26. The Tigers call We're still in this. They're second of the half. We're still in this, y'all. This is what it takes. First and ten. To where are you? Twenty-six yard line. Inside of your helmet. Co-op is only behind CPU performance yesterday by twenty-one or so. That's not bad. Big not too bad, there, you know. Chris, goal. thank you for the four ninety-nine, man. Hey, look, you guys got to put yourself in TVD shoes. You know, maybe he couldn't see over the old line. You guys got a bird's eye view. Porter. Porter! What is happening? Tigers. We're falling apart, man. We're falling apart. You always want to capitalize on these short yardage situations. And that pass was an excellent call. Defense is trash. TV do, TVD had uh, too many overthrown balls in the first quarter. We had so many opportunities, and we just whipped on all of them. Excellent kick. This is one of those. So you're probably wondering how I got here. He's to the tenth. He's to the twenty. Knocked out of bounds. We have an opportunity here. We have two timeouts. We have to air it out, obviously. Fake screen, will route. The offense comes Fake out to screen, start this drive. And will route. A better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Trepo's up, bro. He sails it long. This is a very well coached defense. Shouldn't have put air under hands it. Hands he beat his man right there at first. <laughs> It's second and ten. It should have been picked. Now you're right. You're right. <laughs> you're good, Droopy. You ain't going to hurt my feelings, bro. People think for some reason that I'm going to get mad whenever they critique my play. I'm not mad. Trust me. Like, you're good, bro. Like, look. What else am I supposed to do? What else do you actually want me to do there? TVD is overthrowing it. quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmate. He shook. He shook, bro. Third down now. They need to get it out to midfield. See if we can get some Skinner action here, maybe. We do. And a quick throw. And he's we gotta burn one of those timeouts, guys. I'm looking for seven. I'm not looking for three. I'm sorry. I'm not. Can't hardly see, but co-op making CPU look like government AI that has had 100 meters investment for the last huh? five years. What's that supposed to mean? Huh? From the 40-yard line. First down. Thank you for the 499, Chris. In a triple coverage. Right. Incomplete pass. The defensive coordinator. I'm forcing it. I'm forcing it. We gotta chill, bro. We gotta chill. Do you got three guys over there on him? Somebody else had to be open. There ain't no doubt about that. Somebody had to be open. Y'all want Jakari? Ball on the 40. What? He airs it out. 
Nice grab on the play. Touchdown, Hurricane. Touchdown, Miami. Calm down. Yo, Yo calm down. Don't use Don't use Exactly where to put the pass. And the receiver went out there and made the grab. Calm down, bro. We're cooking over here. And he goes a 10 point ball game. game. All right. Y'all are invested now. There's been too much that's went on tonight. Miami. There's been to way to too much that's went on tonight. You're stuck here now. All right. He really got under that kick. to the 20. Bro, somebody tackle that tackle man. At the 27 yard line. Okay. The quarterback is on his way back. I don't think that Davos this dumb. I, I think I don't think they try to do much here with one time. Okay. That's a smart play. That's a smart play. Okay. All right. So we played two quarters. Clemson no. leads it. 24, 24 to 14. 14 going into the half. I'm going to be real. This is more what I expected last night. I'm going to be honest. This is more so what I expected. About a 10-point ball Hi, game. Everybody. Glad to have you with us. Who gets EA the ball to start the second NCAA half? I don't remember. Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. It's been strange. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always. You're right. So a little perspective You're right. What just Someone literally just falls you know flat on their back for in that first half on the PAT. The You're right. What a game, man. What a game. Through all of those highlights we got this, man. We're locked in. Let me, let me review choose the game. To try to make the sports center top ten. Da -da -da, da -da -da. No, there's definitely <sighs> I might have to make a quick from, phone call. That's what you like as a fan. I, I think the fans... They like Let me review the game plan here from like Dawson. Like We're going to go guys, deep in the playbook go here. We're going a couple pages back in this thing. Guys make big, long let's go. We're going. We're, we're, like let's go. We're not going all the way to the back over, yet. We're going to go time, about three-fourths so of the way through. I think the kids through. know that, too, and they're okay. trying to do their best to always all right. you know, make a huge play and make a big explosive play and put a little cherry on top of that play. So that Both teams have decided to abandon the run game. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I brought to the half. It's true, show. Edward. I have no idea okay, why. That's it for us no idea. Studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. I wish that were the case, T. Davis. I wish it was. Hey, I want to give a shout out here at halftime. Who receives? We do. We have an opportunity, guys, to make this a one-score game. We have an opportunity here to put this thing Buddy, well, we can make this a three-point game, actually. 24 to 14. We get the ball to start the second half. I want to give a shout-out to my man, top don donator so far in the stream tonight, my man, Eric Birch. Eric! With the 20. And I appreciate all the love from everybody so far. Thank you guys for sticking with me, even through my internet dropping in and out, through the monsoon that happened outside. I appreciate y'all. Let's go. Post game presser is happening immediately after the game. You can interview me and ask me questions. We go, we set up the podium, the whole nine yards. If you guys want to hang out for that. to the 10, to the 20. Good run, good run. It's time to show up, Chris. Put up or shut up right here. I honestly don't even. Okay, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. There's got to be some sense of urgency Jay Kiss. in this offense right now. They don't have the that was a hurricane in Tennessee. Yeah, man. In it was insane. Yo, get... Gets out to about the 31. It's fine. Three yards. We'll take three. We're, we're without our starting running back. But we got to trust in Chaney. We got to trust in Chaney, man. You know what? I'm going to trust him so much that I'm going to throw a screen to him right here. It's second and you guys aren't going to trust me. Ball on the -yard You're just going to have to see the results. 20, 3, All right. 
Looks middle. Got his back. He's not okay, good job, Chaney. Good job, Chaney. Way to go, bro. From their own 44 yard I saw line. green grass, First man. Down. I'm telling you. They hand it off. Good blocks. And he's we take those all day, nice. baby. We're, we're not in panic mode right now. So I know you guys want to air it out. Trust me. I know what you want to see. We're still going to ground and pound a bit. With Fletcher? Okay. All right. Now, you know what I do need to do, however? In case I need to call an audible, y'all are going to laugh at me. I have the plays on post-it notes, and I don't have it in front of me. Now, look, look, listen. For those of you that are going to give me a hard time, the coaches on the sideline have a play sheet, so I don't want to hear Jack Diddley squat from any of you. I'm grabbing those post-it notes that have the audibles written down. Hold on. I don't want to hear a thing. They got they got a uh, a play sheet on. I meant to I meant to put this in front of me before the stream started and I forgot. All right, that's all I had to do. That's all I had to do. No, no, nah, nah, we're good, Steve. Steve, we're good. All right, Steve. You don't believe? It's the tailback. Nice run to the outside. It's, it's, we're, we're getting to the point to really not cook up a little play action right here. We're running the ball pretty successfully. Okay. It doesn't have to be a home run ball here. Second and five here. Yeah, see, they have playbooks. The same thing. Exactly. The bad ball. Bad, bad ball. Do it, I'm doing it. Down, five yards I'm doing go. it. Ball on the the fan favorite. This is almost four down territory for me. I'm not even kidding. Hold on. Oh! Hold on to the ball. This is what it take to wear the U on the side of your helmet. Supporting co-op regardless of his excuses was not around for the restate and reset C, but I understand Coop's pain. Pain from a man consistently outperformed by a CPU. We understand and appreciate him, regardless of his shortcomings. You know what? You know what I'm going to do, guys? This one's for Chris. We're going for it. Chris Gaffney! It's four down territory. Chris, I'll set you atop your throne after we get a fresh set of downs here. Chris, we're going for it. You know what? You just motivated me, bro. We are 100% going for it, and I am confident. You know what? I'm so confident. I'm so confident here. I'm going to run the slants play again. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. I've got to tell you, I'm really surprised that they aren't going to just punt this ball away. And they make the stop around the 35-yard line. Pretty good game. More 
Let's go. Do you trust Dawson or not? I look over to Dawson. Dawson looks over to me. I get heat. Do you trust him or not? Bro, let me take a second and set Chris atop his throne here. I know he's going to say, Coop, don't do it. We're going to take a second. We're going to put him up there. All right, we don't want to break the immersion. Don't worry. <sighs> thank you for the $49.99, Chris. Y'all can thank Chris for that first down because that was all you. That was all you, Chris. Thank you. Thank you. Thank freaking goodness. Y'all thank Chris. Thank Chris. For real. That's not the... No, that's that's not what I did. Huh? Yo, that's not the, that's not the right play. The play clock's at zero. They took too much time. The game changed. drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot. So my play sheet is, is no good. My play sheet is no good. It's wrong. So we'll have first and fifteen. Oh no! Oh no! All that for one yard. That play was going nowhere. One yard, man. A lot of credit to the defense Notice how it's been a little buggy, though, for real. For those of you that are just jumping in, all the names disappeared. Did y'all see that? Literally all the names just the disappeared. The now they're back. So weird, man. That's not the... Oh my gosh, Chaney has hands. Yo, double coverage. Chaney has hands. Sometimes you just got to throw it up there and let your man make a play. Sometimes you just got to get it in the hands of the better athlete. It is what it is. People keep doubting. It's fine. Continue to doubt. Oh boy, it's thundering again. Oh boy, it's thundering again. Here's the 11th play of the drive. All right, we got Fletcher in, guys. This is Fletcher. He's rocking number four right now. Makes it to the five. Fletcher gains around eight yards on the okay. run. That makes it second and two. This is the 12th play. Fletcher's of the drive. fast, man. I could feel it. Fletcher's definitely quick. We're going to give it to him here, and Chaney's going to block for us. You'll get the call again. He's tackled around the four yards. <sighs> okay, okay. Okay. I'm trusting this run game right now. I'm trusting this. Short it's third and one, man. Third and one. We're fine right here. I need a good big push from the O line. We got Chaney, the big strong back in there. Here they go on the draw, and they'll lose yards. Great job here in shutting down the run. That's a real boost for this team. Now, I know what you're going to say. Coop, you couldn't do this in real life. Well, thank goodness it's not real life. I want to ask you guys something. This is legit. I, I've already made my mind up. I want you to know that I've already made my mind up. If you were me right here, what would you do? I've already made my mind up. But what would you do? It's a 10-point ball game. You're at the six-yard line. It's fourth and three. You need three yards to pick this thing up. What would you do? I'm just, I'm curious. I'm gauging the community. No, I, I've already made my mind up. I've already made my mind up.
Decent pickup. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the fifteenth play of this drive. This is what it takes. No, 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 guys. It's bugged. To Again. TBD's not there. I have to burn a timeout. If out. Clemson scores, I predict another storm. That takes out power. <laughs> Thank you for the 499, Chris. This is a situation where we have we have to do this, guys. I'm sorry. No, it's bugged. This is what happened earlier, guys. This pisses me off. It's never done this until tonight. Look, Tyler Van Dyke is not there. If I snap that ball, Matt Lee is going to send it into the stands forward. I have no idea how that happens, but it's the second time it's happened tonight. And it's actually not a joke. I mean, we can make jokes about it. That's fine. But it's actually broken. I don't know why it's doing that. And this is the 15th play of a very solid drive. It's only that play. That It's that play. Unfortunately, I forgot what it was already. Thank you for the 499, Chris. Oops. Power went out. Touchdown, so I had to burn a timeout. It is what it is. Touchdown, Miami. We in this. We in this, baby. We barely converted on that fourth down from the six yard line. That play is broken. He splits the uprights with the I hope that we don't run into that again, and I can remember which one it was. It was one of the draw plays. That play is bugged. That's the same play that I tried to call earlier in the game the first time, and we had to reset Miami because it gave us a free touchdown. No cheating around here. What is that play? It's one of the draw plays. But I can't remember which one I picked. And it goes into the it's end not a QB zone, down, down now. Now we're in the third quarter. We got plenty of time. No. Oh. What is this pro? This is Heisman difficulty. This is Heisman, bro. So you wonder what kind of excitement we ran the ball a lot around. that drive, and that it's fine. Clemson it's fine. A three point lead. Bro, you have to pick that! Porter, please! I'm begging you, Porter. Please, bro. You have to pick that. Bro, I'm sick. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. That literally changes the game right there. Oh, wait, wait. Change the play up. Sign of fire, welcome. What's going on, man? <sighs> Two plays that should have been picks. Third and ten. Ball I told you, it's almost impossible to intercept the ball, man. It really is. It's so tough. Bain just took a seat. Out of bounds. Stays in bounds to make a nice no, catch. no, 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 no. Uh-uh. No, sir. Yo, wait a minute. How do you challenge a play? I don't remember. Where's that at? I'm challenging that. There it was. There it was. I'm challenging it. I don't care. I'm challenging that. 
And if if they call it a catch, somebody here paid off the refs. Edward T. Davis, somebody. So the coach challenges the call, and they're going to try to determine if the receiver made the catch inbounds. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll have a chance to take a second look at it and determine if he really was inbounds Out. when he caught the ball. Out. Well, the side judge was standing right Out. there, so I'd be surprised if he missed that call. After review the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Let's go! So the call on the field will be reversed. Let's go! Let's go! Bro, they were going to let that slide. Are you freaking kidding me? The refs were about to let that slide, Joseph too. Will be the return man. Can y'all believe that? I get the ball back, and I get to keep my timeout. Bro, they were going to let that slide. Real talk. He's at midfield. Knocked out of bounds. Yo! The, the Tiger staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. It's a three-point ball around. game. I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think... Uh, I'm still not abandoning the run. Really I know y'all don't uh, like it. I know you don't, but I, no I just can't abandon so the run game, man. With, uh, I can't. We're running the ball pretty well in the second the half. Zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. Yeah, this offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in. Chaney's putting the team on his back right now. To be able to see that actually Play hit out of bounds. What are you talking about? Come on, bro. Say what? Wrong play. Line. Oh, shoot. Wrong play. Hold up. Wrong play. Even the pressure. Bro, I saw the coverage. We changed the play. I got Colby Young one on one on the outside. I see that. Read it. And they still get the pressure on TVD, and he makes a bad throw. A little bit too late. A few seconds too late, man. Second down, Jet sweep could work go. with Harold. True. True. And down he goes. Taking our time. Taking our time, guys. Fresh set of downs. This is such a big time game. Such a big one. I kind of wanted to run to the short side of the, the field here, even though that sounds ridiculous. First down. But I feel like we're starting to tire out the right side of that D-line for closing. Push, push, good push. Bro, the O-line is eating right now. No, you know what? It's working. It's working right now. Y'all getting lag again? Are we good? Are y'all lagging? Nice run up the middle. Are we good or no? I don't want people to say I'm cheating if I if I pause the game. Are, are y'all good? Okay. Okay. Good deal. It is storming again, but I think we're fine. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, man. Like, we're moving the ball. Even there, I take a five-yard rush there all day. All day, man. Pounding the rock. You know, let's take it to the fourth. Let's take it to the fourth right here, y'all. Yo, let me see them. The Canes... Knocking on the door, trying to take the lead in this big time home so matchup. Like Blacked out the against the Clemson Tigers. Clemson. Undefeated. We're four and two. Let me see them, y'all. Let me see those fours. You've made about seven wrong plays today. 
uh, that is about seven less than the, the the typical number at this point in time. So we're improving. We're improving. Okay. Noted. 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 Okay. Good deal. Good deal. Now, let's set the record straight. The game is not over yet. I could still lose. However, just so people... Just in case. Just in case. Okay. Let's take the lead here. I'm not looking to tie the game up. I want the lead, bro. Four yards, we're not going to go draw because it's been kind of buggy. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Go, Chaney. Give us that. Give us that. I have a question for you guys. I have a question for y'all. So here it Do is. Do you believe? Down as they try to take the lead. It's time for the flipping Van Dyke. And he's tackled at the one. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play. That was supposed to be from under center. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Do you believe? They're packed in. In Tyler, mother flipping Van Dyke. He's in. Touchdown. And they take the lead. touchdown, Miami. Four point ball game. A nine play, 46 yard drive. Four point ball game. Seven points. I told y'all I've been practicing. I done told y'all I've been practicing. Miami, the kick. Ridiculous, man. Sends it sailing downfield. Real talk, imagine my power did cut out. And down he goes at the 17. I'd Let's probably cancel the rest of the series. Take possession after the I swear. You know, late in this game and still trailing in the football game, this is where a quarterback has to assert himself as a leader. Everybody's going to turn to him to find out if he's willing to make the plays to give this team and this offense a chance to secure victory. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Bro, I had James spying club mix there, and he got tied up with the receiver. <sighs> I still got to bring pressure. I definitely still got to bring some pressure here. I can't, I can't let up and be too soft. Ball on their own thirty. Okay. Keep in mind they have three timeouts. We have two. This could come down to the wire, y'all. We need to get the, the ball back in the hands of this offense. ASAP. We can chew up some clock with our run game. Ball on the 33 yard line. Third and two. Big third down right here. Big time play here. We got. Okay. He's 
Here's the halfback on the screen. Same play they got us with in the first half. Same play they got us with in the first half. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 44. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is not the... Spelled out, thank goodness. Yep, they let everyone in. 100%. They nailed it. You got it, man. There we go, Curtis. Way to close, man. All right, another third down, y'all. Another third down. What are we doing here? I tried to use her control there and still had my hand on the stick. That makes it first and goal. Bro. Oh. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Slings it. And he's taken down around the two yard line. That brings him second and goal. Second down, goal to go. Two yards to the end zone. Touchdown, and that's going to give him the lead. Nice run and a score by the halfback. I had two, nice two guys on him, bro. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near I had two guys on him. And he, he literally carried, I didn't even see who it was. Who did he carry into the end zone? Who did Shipley carry into the end zone right there? Did anybody catch it? Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. I bailed last second right there. <laughs> the Hurricanes are on a roll right now. All right. Yo, listen, we got four minutes, 15 seconds. We just need to choose some clock. We need to choose some clock. The run game is still working. We still have two timeouts, plenty of time left. Let's chill, man. Let's march down the field and let's make something happen here. That could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. I'm not afraid to run the ball this possession. I'm not afraid at all. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. I saw my man outside there, and I thought that I thought that Young. Look, I didn't have eyes on him. Okay, I thought that Young could make a play there. Now we're in trouble. I gave the green light on that play from Dawson, and that could have just cost us the game. Realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one Who was wide open? From a very was Restrepo open for real? Holds a field goal lead. <laughs> We gotta get the ball right back. Three and out right. We got greedy. We did. 100% we got greedy. Exactly what happened. 
I got greedy, man. It's Dawson looked at me. On the 39 -yard line. And man, I I gave the green light. I gave the thumbs up. I got it. I have to approve the plays from Dawson. Yeah. So it's on me. At the end of the day, I have the final say so. Watch it all. Going deep. Bro! Why did it? I... That's a pick. That's a pick. And I tried to use your control. Finger was not on the stick. That's a pick. I'm pushing forward when I use a control. He went back. I don't. Whatever. 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 And they get it in for seven. The score now, 38-28. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. He's to the ten. At the thirty. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 37. Right, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I I'm going to be honest, guys. I'm not keeping it PG right now. Stop to secure a victory. Are you ready? Guys, we shit the bed. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Just under three to go in regulation. Got a receiver I thought he could time. get it, get around the edge like he did before. That makes it second and ten. This is good. This is a heartbreaker, man. Like I'm literally, I'm feeling it, bro. I'm feeling it bad. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Brought down around the 50-yard line. This is what it takes. What the? That was bad. That was bad. That was bad Christian honestly. Manny Diaz strikes again, baby. <laughs> Chris, hold on. I'll address it, Chris. Hold on. Yo, yo, go, yo. He saw that all day. I thought he was going to put a little more air under it. Steve! Thank you for the five, Steve. That stopped the clock. Gave us a little bit of breathing room. It wasted a down. We have to score quick. We really... It has to be a quick score, man. It's a 10-point game. It's, it's, it's time to take a shot, bro. Like... The problem is we have guys that can pick up yards after the catch. So... All right, all right, all right. From the 39-yard line. It's second I'm down. looking at Dawson. I'm giving him the thumbs up a here. more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He's taken down at the 15. Offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of it. We had to waste the timeout. Your eyes do not deceive you.
So the sack makes this a second and long. again these hits take a toll on a quarterback physically and psychologically the blockers have got it all do a falling job of apart care of him. this is way too familiar this is way too familiar bro and a quick throw he's tackled at the three yard line What's the play, man? What's the play? We only have one timeout. We have to go for the outside kick, right? Right? Are we lagging? I'm not trying to kill the... Look. I'm not trying to make excuses. Are we lagging or for real? Whoa, 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 whoa. Are we lagging or are we good? Are we good? Am I good? Okay, hold on. No, I don't want any excuses. If we're lagging, let me know. Am I good? Still? Okay. okay, last two plays were super laggy. Okay. Blurry. Okay, we'll give it a second. We'll give it a second. Let the bit rate. It's still storming. It's still storming. Are we good? We're good? If it's blurry, what you have to do, real talk, if your screen is blurry at the moment, click the little cogwheel and make sure you bump it back up to 720 or 1080 because if my bit rate fluctuates or drops, then your stream will set to 240 or 480. Click the little cogwheel in the bottom right and bump up the resolution because it will. YouTube will do that automatically if my bit rate drops. It's not your connection. It's my bit rate. Okay. All right, good deal. No excuses. I just I want to make sure everyone can, you know, everyone the stream is working. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. He splits the uprights with the We have to point. onside kick, bro, but there's no way we're going to recover it. There's no way we're going to recover this, man. In, in the all my time of playing the NCAA football games from when I was a wee little lass, I have never recovered an onside kick. It's laggy again! <sighs> Pause for a second. Step away. No, so you guys have to know that when it's lagging, the game isn't lagging. The stream is lagging. The stream is lagging, not the game. Yeah, it said I'm getting an error on YouTube. All right, hold on, hold on. My bit rate is half of what it normally is. Are you guys good? I hate that we keep having to do these checks. It's pissing me off. It's actually, and yeah, nah, nah, it's okay to troll me, but it has been super frustrating tonight. Like it is, it is freaking a torrential downpour out there right now. Are we good? It says excellent connection. Are we good? My bit rate looks fine. I have to go for the onside kick. Burning that timeout screwed us, man, because they could just run the clock out. It wouldn't matter. Okay. We have to go for it. I've literally never recovered an onside kick, ever. We are going to lose by freaking three points, man. I'm livid. It looks like they're going to go for the onside kick. Bro! 
question right now is who's going to step up defensively? It's just been so much offense here in this final stand. I just want to see somebody step up and be a leader to try to be able to secure a victory. This is where the offense has to come to the forefront. They work all week for situations like this. They've got the lead. They've got a chance to add to it, and that would mean a victory. Shipley up the gun. They'll knock him down for a loss. Third Maybe the computer will mess up. Final you cannot well, you downplay the chance the middle, taking shots from the safety, but a runner that the computer the could mess up. This guy just flies all over the field. It's happening. We've seen how buggy it is. I have no timeouts, though, bro. I have no timeouts. Literally, poor clock management killed us. Under a minute left in the game. I'm going to play the pass here. They might try to get it, though. Somebody jumped early down there. False start. Offense. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. So now it's an even tougher situation after the penalty. Third and 15. See the elation on the defensive coordinator side of things. And Bro, right if I had it, time out. The biggest stops of the game in a vital. If I had it, time out. Bro, we were this close. Maybe the computer will be stupid. Maybe the computer will be stupid and actually punt the ball. Swanson is waiting for the snap. Send it. You won't, Dabo. Send it. You won't, Dabo. You don't have the balls. Dabo, you ain't got the balls to punt it. Give Ray Ray a shot. I dare you, Dabo. and staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time. Post-game press conference happening in about three to five minutes. <sighs> wow. We were, bro, 38-35. We had every opportunity in the world here. Coop is now four and three on the season with a loss to Miami of Ohio, North Carolina, and Clemson, making this our second loss in a row. Talk about a morale killer right here. This game right here, you would think, here, here's my opinion. Tell me what you guys think. A game like this doesn't boost the morale of the team because we hung with Clemson. I actually think it's quite the opposite. I think that being this close to victory at home against an undefeated Clemson when we're 4-2 and two kills the rest of the season. I think it's a heartbreaker, and I think that it, it destroys this team for the rest of the year. That's just my opinion, and I'm sure many of you don't agree with it. Now, remember, post-game pressure is happening immediately. Like, it's... it's Right after this, guys. I literally just need to see the stats 
so I can make note of it for the coach. Prepare your questions, guys. Like, bro. Bro. The early the, the interceptions by TVD, the poor clock management, not having a if we had all three timeouts right there, we have a chance to come back and win the game. Tell me real talk while I'm making note of these stats here. Do you guys think that a game like this would kill the morale of the team? Or do you think that it would be bene- – like, obviously winning is better. Obviously. But let's say this did happen. Do you think that it would hype the players up and they would say, yo, like we hung with Clemson. We're used to losing by three, four, five-plus touchdowns to the Tigers. We kept it within three, and we possibly could have won. Do you think that that hypes the team up, or do you think they're like, F this, man. Like, we're this close and we just can't get it together. I'm done. What do you think? What do you think? Real talk. Real talk. I'm just going to make note of some of the stats here right quick. Be thinking about your questions for the press conference. If you're new here, guys, literally I'm going to step up to the podium. I know it's later than normal. I'm going to step up to the podium as Coach Coop coach of the virtual Miami Hurricanes, and you can ask me any questions you would like. The only thing I ask is we make sure that Susan is not present. So we hired extra security. As a matter of fact, we tripled the security. We were three of three on fourth downs, guys. Three for three on fourth downs. We went for it because we had the cojones to do so, and we converted every time. Every time, man. Three turnovers for us. Ran the ball well. <sighs> We're four and three. We're four and three, and we probably just lost to the number one team in the ACC. And last week, we probably lost to the number two or number three team in the ACC, depending on where you place Florida State. Multiple dropped. Dropped interceptions. Yep, you're right. You're right. Multiple opportunities, nothing but green grass in front of us, too. Okay, guys. Give me uh give me like one, two minutes tops, and we will fire up the post game presser. I'll see you guys there.
Is this thing on? Okay. As the Miami Hurricanes fans and reporters can see, I'm very disappointed. I hope that you can see it on my face, and we are not going to sugarcoat this loss tonight. I've been informed that they have decided to let Susan in the building. So... Everyone, just prepare yourselves. We're not going to sugarcoat this loss tonight. Dawson looks to me. I give him the, the green light on the play. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of insight on how Dawson's mind works when he calls these plays. But I would like to add that I'm very upset that I was not allowed to meet with Dabo at mid midfield. Uh, he brought extra security, and they said that due to what happened last week with the Mac Brown incident, they did not allow me to meet Dabo after the game. And I had some very choice words for him. It is what it is. But the way the way that Dawson calls plays, this is and, what it uh, takes. I want you guys to hear this from me. You. I think it's a, a sorry, very smart, effective what way. What flavor Gatorade was TVD drinking on the sidelines when you had to call a timeout in the third on the six-yard line? As I said, obviously, Susan is here and present. Susan, we'll get to that question here in just a moment. The way Dawson calls plays is this right here. Do any of the reporters here know what this is? This quarter has the year 2001 on it. The last time the Miami Hurricanes won a national championship. And when Dawson is conflicted, he flips this quarter right here. That decides to play, and that's how he's operated for years. And it's worked. It's worked. But obviously here, it doesn't seem to be as effective. So we might have to back up and rethink the game plan with that. But in my opinion, and then we're going to open this thing up for questions. In my opinion, right now, the Miami Hurricanes are 0-7. We're not 4-3. We're 0-7. We've not beaten the teams that matter. We're practically out of the race for the conference championship. And I'm pretty upset because I'm going to take some personal blame for this because Parrish is not actually still injured. Parrish could have played tonight, but I made the mistake of getting a couple of guys on the team into Pokemon cards. I take full responsibility for this. Parrish is one of the ones who got into it competitively, and he's actually competing in a Pokemon TCG tournament in the Dallas-Fort Worth area in Texas right now. And that is on me. I should not have introduced those guys to Pokemon. So with that being said, I have no respect for Dabo. Uh, can't stand the Clemson Tigers. Let's open this thing up for questions. And I'm going to go ahead and address the one from Susan. What flavor Gatorade uh, was TVD drinking on the sidelines when you had to call a timeout in the third on the six-yard line? So there was absolute mass confusion there. It goes back to the coin flip, Susan. Uh, this was a thing where... Uh, I think we were we were considering going wildcat with Jakari and Dawson flipped the quarter and TBD thought he heard him say that it landed on tails, which would be wildcat. And apparently it landed on heads, which means TBD was supposed to be in the game and we had to call a timeout, which could have potentially cost us the game. It is what it is. Any more questions, make sure that you tag at Coach Coop so I can see your questions. 
We're going to get through as many as possible tonight. We don't run and we don't hide. South Carolina Kane with the Miami Hurricanes virtual news. Do you think Jakari Brown will be starting next week or will Tyler Van Dyke start next week versus Virginia? You know, that's an excellent question. Tyler Van Dyke had a bad game early on, but I feel like he really was in the groove in the second half of the ball game. We're just going to open the competition back up. You know, uh, it could be Tyler Van Dyke. It could be Jakari. It could be Emery. Uh, it could be Andy Borregalis. At this point, I have no answers. John O'Mara, did you get your coaching experience in a box of cereal? I see we have jokes tonight. Um, there's a reason why I am standing here behind the podium making hundreds of millions of dollars, and I have a multi 20 plus year contract with this team. What we do is th there's a term that the, the coaches here on this staff have for the fans, and it's, it's couch coaches. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the term, but uh, w th there's a reason why, why we are where we are and why you are where you are. And that's no disrespect to the fans. You know, I just, I, I've heard rumors of gassing up the planes. You know, I've heard something about a, a banner fund, but I don't know if there's any truth to that. Randy, uh, Randy from Kane's News. After the questionable performance from TVD and the subpar performance from the defense, do you think it's time to rethink your strategy? We will never change our strategy. Absolutely ever. We spent the entire offseason installing this offense and defense, and we believe in it. I go back to my basic principles. When in doubt, blame the players. We brought a good game plan. The players didn't execute. End of story. Forza. Uh, many are calling for you to bring the Twinkies back. Thoughts? For the coaching staff, yes. I would love to get a sugar high after this. Basically a sugar coma and just pass out. So hopefully I can wake up and this was all a dream. Including this interview. Chill. We have reports that Susan sabotaged the players' water supply at the start of the fourth quarter, causing them to feel fatigued and eventually lose the game. How will you handle these claims? I've had a strong feeling that Susan is against the Miami Hurricanes for many years. And I would not doubt it at all. If that is the case, we'll have a team on it. And I'm guessing 25 to life minimum. What do we have here? Any more questions? Tag, tag at Coach Coop. Edward. Edward up here in the front. Go Tigers. How does it feel that Jay Kiss robbed of a win? Would you like to say something to Jay Kiss? What do you think about Clemson? What do you think of Clemson dropping six interceptions, three being for six? I keep hearing this Jay Kiss person thrown around. I don't know if Jay Kiss is a referee that's been paid off. I don't know if he's some type of secret staff member. I don't know who this Jay Kiss guy is. But if I ever meet him face-to-face, -face, I'll have some very choice words for him. You can take that to the bank. Joseph's Comics. How bad would you have lost to Dabo since the old man or North Carolina got you good last week? <sighs> That's got to be Susan. It's got to be Susan. Next question. John O'Mara. Uh, can you explain why our most clutch receiver was ignored uh, in most clutch time for a greedy triple coverage play? You know, that goes back to Tyler Van Dyke. And, you know, I feel like the, the play was there. If, if you guys are seeing people open, then I think the play call is correct, right? Dawson's looking at me. I'm looking at him. He's flipping the quarter. I'm giving the green light, the thumbs up. It's a go. If somebody's open, we drew up the right play. The players just aren't executing at a high enough level. It is what it is. Melissa with, I believe, Buckets Media here. Correct me if I'm wrong, Melissa. This is the offense take. seemed to move well throwing to, to Tyler Harrell. I'm why didn't you go help. to him more? So when the fans were chanting Fox Coop's thumbs and vision, what were you thinking? So here's the deal, Melissa. As you guys know, I made the entire team 
walk back last week from Chapel Hill all the way down to South Florida. As a matter of fact, they just got back yesterday, so we only had one day of practice for the Clemson game. Harrell was the last one back. He was the most gassed, and we were a little worried about relying on him tonight. Now, in the long run, this extra cardio is going to pay off. We're going to be the most well-conditioned team in the history of college football. However, however, Harrell was the last one back from Chapel Hill, walking all that way, and we didn't want to rely on him too much. So Chris Gaffney, uh, the fans were chanting uh, for Coop's thumbs and vision. What were you thinking? Once again, I, I don't understand why the fans are so obsessed with my thumbs. My thumbs are okay. I've had them x-rayed. We've had multiple MRIs done. I threw some haymakers at Mac Brown last week, but they seem to be healing up quite well. At most, it's a sprain. So I understand the, the concern from the fans, from fellow coaches, from, from the media. My thumbs are okay. They're fine. We'll get another x-ray after this just to make sure. I'll this make sure that the social media team posts it to Twitter, Twitter and you. shows you guys for proof. On the side of your helmet. How did your OnlyFans inspire the team? You know, I pride myself on being the first college football coach to have an OnlyFans. We discussed this a couple of weeks ago that if the players have the NIL, I would like to have extra ways to make money as well. You know, I have I have hobbies outside of football, guys. Pokemon, you know, playing video games, World of Warcraft, and I need to fund those hobbies. My 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 check from the university goes to my wife. Balenciaga, Gucci, Lamborghinis. You know, she's living good. Coach Coop's eating ramen noodles, sleeping two hours a day. I got to make some extra money. And, and you know, these OnlyFans photo shoots are helping. You know, the team fully stands behind me and supports this. Uh, you know, there are some nudes in there. I don't know if that inspires the guys or not. You're going to have to ask them when they come up to the podium after me. Edward, you said Parrish is playing Pokemon TCG tournament, and does that mean he gave up on the team? What's his favorite Pokemon? So we actually, as a coaching staff, came together and gave him a pass. Uh, Parrish said that if he won the tournament in, in Texas, that he would actually split his winnings with me if I were to let him go. He's running some kind of sick Charizard deck. The grand prize is fifty grand. That's like getting a $25,000 bonus. I'm not getting that kind of bonus when we win games. So I said, you know what? I believe in this running back room, Chaney, Fletcher, Citizen when he's healthy, AJ, all those guys. So we let him go. We let him go. Uh, Caden here. Caden up here up front. Thought on the Matt Lee 50-yard touchdown run and the game being played again. I have no idea what you're referring to. And I was on the field. Workforce freebie. We're going to take one or two more questions, guys, and then we're wrapping this thing up. If we hurry, if we can finish this up in the next five minutes, I still have time to make it to Taco Bell before we get back. Can you comment on allegations of a tiff between your offensive coordinator, uh, Melissa, who was calling for the Herald slant? Why was that play not called? So there is someone on the staff. You'll typically see her in hoodies. And... You know, uh, she personally trains Harold. She, listen, you guys think that uh, that our strength and conditioning team is is ruthless? You guys think that Aaron Feld with the stash is a madman? You should meet this Melissa chick in the hoodie. She's always just kind of like a shadow figure in the back with her hood up. And Harold specifically asked for her to train him. And you guys have seen the results. And that's why she's a big, you know, supporter of him and always pushing for the slants to Harold. Nick, what was the team's mentality during the literal hurricane impeding play during the second quarter and some of the fourth? Nick, I told the guys to embrace that. We are the Miami Hurricanes, are we not? And I told them we should use that to our advantage. And next time what I'm going to do, as long as it's a category four or less, we are going to practice in a hurricane if there is another one. We are literally going to indoor practice facility. No, we're going to practice outside in the hurricane. 
And this I think that Tyler Van Dyke's accuracy, he needs to practice to in that type of wind. On the side of your helmet. How do you split the money you make off your chest hair and controller on you OnlyFans account with your players? Chris, there is no sharing the OnlyFans money. Uh, that was that that is something that is exclusive for me. Those funds are not are not shared amongst the players, the coaching staff, the university does not get a cut. That is my own thing. That that is something that I can fall back on after I retire from my coaching career. That's something, you know, long term, we're talking about residual income. You know, people are going to continue to look for those pictures and, and those explicit videos and things that I post on the Internet. So that is not shared amongst anyone. That is that is purely for Coach Coop and no one else. Last call. Last call. There's We're running out of time for Taco Bell, guys. We do have Virginia next week. We're not changing up the game plan. I mean... You know, we, we are the most conditioned team in all of college football. I just, I don't have, I don't have any answers right now. We will try to swap out Dawson's quarter for a different quarter. I think that Gidry had a good game plan tonight. I think we played some of our better defense. We had some busted coverage, but again, that's on the players not executing. The call was there. The players just didn't execute. Chill, uh, which person do you think could have a better chance uh, at beating in a boxing match, Dabo or Mac Brown? I believe neither, and I think that you should put me in a cage match, bare knuckle, 2v1, me versus Dabo and Mac Brown, and I'll take out both of them. Guys, I'll see you next week for Virginia. I still need the fans to show up loud and proud. We need to put these rumors of the Banner Fund to rest because it's not happening. Miami cannot afford my buyout. You're stuck with me for a very long time, so you better get used to it. I'll see you guys next week. Bro, 38 to 35. 38 to 35. Three points. Oh! We have an extra late question coming in from reporter Chris Gaffney. For real, though, guys, I appreciate the love. Eric Birch on the board with the top dono tonight. All the love from everybody, man. Chris Gaffney, Steve, it was good to see you in here, man. It was this freaking it good takes. to see you in here tonight, Steve. To where do you? Uh, everybody, man. I'm Robert, Jason, Javier, Burgos. There have been requests to add the players to Kane your OnlyFans account. Which players do you feel deserve to be featured? And which players have the best chest hair? Oh, my gosh. Glenn Guerrera, Pigskin Pete, South Coast Kane. Jorn made an appearance. I appreciate the love tonight, guys. I have to, I have to add a disclaimer. I know. This is all parody. Don't anybody take it serious, man. We're just having a good time. But I am actually pissed that we lost 38 to 35 because I had it. I could have redeemed myself. I could have redeemed myself, man. Uh, so the final question here with Chris. There have actually been multiple requests for the good-looking gentleman that typically sets in the front row during the press conferences and I think his initials are C.G. And his, his first name rhymes with Liss. I'll let you guys do the math and think about that. But that's been the most requested featured player in the OnlyFans with Coach Coop. I'll let you guys figure it out. I love you guys. Going to try to start posting some videos this week. Get out of my mental funk. You know, been kind of depressed going through the motions and stuff. It is what it is. I got to push through it. Uh, I'll try to post some videos this week. If not, at the latest, you'll see me for the normal Friday and Saturday stuff. Thank you all for the love. Thank you for humoring me. And thank you for continuing to be here for me, even when I'm not posting as much as I typically do. It's 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 not a... a just I, I just appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. All right. Much love, man. Give me a big. Why y'all so sad?
Fat! Serious, I won't see it. It's literally invisible. I can't see it. Nobody in the stream can see it. Must be all caps. Chris, the most requested, the most requested featured guest appearance on my OnlyFans is the reporter whose initials are CG. It's not a player. And his first name rhymes with Liss. And his last name rhymes with um, Zagni. Liss Zagni. I've heard it rhymes with that. That's, that's, that's the last thing that I heard. I don't know. That that's what I heard. That's what I heard. I got you. You remind me Hurricane Fan 84. Got you, bro. I'll try to remember. I'll probably forget tomorrow, so just remind me. <laughs> Wait, two questions? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There was two questions? I got Taco Bell on the brain. There have been requests to add players to your OnlyFans account. Okay. Which players do you feel deserve to be featured? And which players have the best chest hair? I did miss the second question. I have seen everyone on the team naked, of course. I mean, that that's just part of the job description. You know, that comes with it. And uh, I would say the one with the best chest hair is center Matt Lee. I mean, I mean, um, I'll show you. I have a, I have a picture. I have a picture. Yeah, I've I've got a picture. Don't ask how I got it. That's not important. Hold on. Hold please. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Center Matt Lee. Definitely. Most definitely. <laughs> All right, I love y'all for real, man. Y'all have a good night. Hey, don't, be, don't be asking how I got that. I'm the head coach. I'm in the locker room every day. I don't go home.